Welcome to the first leg of Vienna's 2019 Euro trip. This is Leon, classmate, best friend, and fellow foodie. We were one week away from starting the biggest trip of our lives so far, traveling to 20 cities, 10 countries, in essentially 21 days. Where are we going? Where are we? <laughs> Good question. This was just the beginning. Day one, destination Harlem. Do you want to just get Starbucks and go back? <laughs> Bruh. You signed up for this and you're sticking with me to the end, brother. Hello, we are in Harlem. Harlem. New York City. We can do the Harlem Shake. This is me, Yenny 2019. I was bright eyed, curious, and had no clue what I got myself into. And who's speaking? This is Yenny from 2021. Kind of sucks how in a city of bikes, I cannot ride a bike. It's stuck on foot. <laughs> Update, Gene can now ride a bike, but I still have to work on turning left and turning right. It's like such a nice small city and it's very quiet. It's a nice introduction before we go to Amsterdam. And there is sun. Woo. Woo. The weather forecast said it was going to rain the entire day, but thankfully it did not. First stop, Friedkammer. And so began our search for the best fries in town. Mm. Those fries gives you a whole new world of French fries. It's so good. And there's ayam kuning. I am kuning. I am kuning. I am kuning. These fries are the best I've ever tasted in the entire Euro trip. Because I left these beautiful footages unedited for almost two years, it's about darn time I finish what I started. So first stop. Harlem. And now we're heading to the legendary Jopenkirk. And what's so cool is that this used to be a church and now it's a brewery. So you can still see the stained glass windows and there's like just beer taps all over. Look, smell, swirl it, smell again, taste, taste again. Radar beer on the untapped and wait here. <laughs> you stole that from me. I didn't steal that, I credit that to you. A good habit of ours is we always ask for the local specialty. Enjoy! Thank you! And the waiter kindly recommended we have the beer tasting where we can get three different kinds of special beer. I don't normally drink beer but it's very good. Liar. And they're all very different. There's the one with the fruity taste, there's the you one with... You guys don't know. Now now, I drink very moderately. Oh, snacks are also available, like this potato thing with this mustard sauce thing. And in total, the beer tasting and snacks were only 9 euros. I think that's a good deal to do some tasting. Now for the sightseeing. Right after this McFlurry break. You know that one? Apple pie la. we're in Netherlands. Pretty good with the chewy, sweet caramel apple bits. And now we go sightseeing. Here's the main road leading to the big church. Looks like Bali stuff. There's the Ten Boom Museum, a family home that used to hide Jews during World War II, but we went instead to the archaeological museum nearby, which was free of charge, so we didn't really know what we were looking at. So after looking around for a bit, we went outside again, through the market, and into the great church of Harlem, also known as St. Babo's Church. I like the... Am, are we stepping on graves? Uh, the pamphlet says yes. The floor of the Bavo church consists entirely of gravestones. There are about 1500 gravestones altogether, the oldest of which date back as far as the 15th century. In 1766, Mozart, who was 10 years old at the time, played this organ. It has 5068 pipes and is almost 30 meters high. That's high. This is the Holy Ghost bench where the Holy Ghost masters were handed out bread to the poor. It dates from 1470. A 14th century safe, the oldest one in Harlem, keeping city rights. And that is the prime example of Guinea being nerdy and actually reading the history pamphlets. Now on to the next sightseeing site. Oh, <laughs> and we found a sign and it's funny because in Indonesian, duit means money, so no duit gang means gang with no money. <laughs> But in Dutch, it means emergency exit. On the way, you can find Instagrammable bridges. Now we're headed to Molen de Adrian, a windmill originally from 1779, but burned down in 1932, so this one's the rebuild from 2002. 
And lastly, we visited a city gate. Here's the Amsterdam Zeport, the only gate left from the original 12 city gates. Alas, it was time for the next city. It's raining just in time. My highlight of Harlem? Definitely the fries. Head over to the next video to catch our adventures in Amsterdam.